Hi guys, we're here with another video in the kids art series and I want to apologize in advance of um, film drawing anything um, for being a bit behind in getting these videos to you. Um, what I can say to all you kids out there is just they, life has gotten in the way of me filming these videos, but I am gonna catch up as best I can and we're gonna film probably four drawings uh, uh, in each video for at least a couple of videos. And this is the first one of those we're gonna do. Um, I don't remember what part this is, part seven or part eight or I don't know, something. I'm gonna do two or three of these. I am trying my hardest to get caught up. All right, so. We ended at, where did we end? Leaf. That was a fun one. I wasn't so sure it turned out very well, but it was a fun one. So leaf. We have earth, box, um, cupcake, and smile. All right, so let's put our words down first. So earth. Box, cupcake, and smile. Now, before you get started on doing any of the drawings in this video, I hope that you've done a couple of things. Number one, that you're not complaining about being stuck in. None of us are happy about it, but we're doing our part, right? That you're doing your homework. You're helping mom and dad out and you're doing your chores and you're keeping your room clean. And when you've gotten all that done, then you can sit and do some fun stuff like, you know, maybe take up drawing and give it a try and see if it's something you might like doing. Um, I am doing a lot of arts and crafts. That's how I'm uh, keeping busy while I'm staying at home and doing my part and doing what I need to. If you're right. watching this. So earth. First, we're going to draw earth. You could draw a pot of dirt with a plant in it. You could draw the planet Earth. Uh, you could draw something in your backyard. There's a lot of different ways you could take the word Earth. How do you spell Earth? E-A-R-T-H, right? Okay. I think I'm going to just draw the planet Earth. So we want to draw a circle. And then we want to try to draw something that kind of resembles... The continents you want to maybe do some googling so you can get them so they look more realistic than the ones I'm gonna draw which aren't not gonna look right at all I'm just suggesting shapes Loose pencil, um, pen sketches. I'm using a regular plain ballpoint pen. Again, like we've said in the other videos, um, just ask mom and dad if they have a pen you can use or any kind of regular black pen will work. Once I have something I'm kind of happy with, I'm gonna go over my messy, sketchy lines, a little darker, a little heavier. You'll notice that the drawing from the other side shows through. I'm okay with that, that's fine. So the first thing we're going to do is color the parts of the earth that are water in blue. I'm going to use my blue pencil. Again, I'm laying it on the side so I get, get a smoother, more even coverage of blue. Um, is this blue? Where's our test paper? Let's see, here's a piece. Yeah, that is blue. Alrighty, and we're gonna need a water a paintbrush or a wet Q-tip and a cup of water. Something like that. Here's my, I have one of these fancy uh, paintbrushes that has water inside the handle. But you can use a Q-tip and a cup of water. Now these Crayola markers, that we've said before, see they're water soluble. So if you get them wet, you can move the ink around. Okay. 
So I'm going to just go around the edges. I'm going to do a little bit at a time. Uh, I have found that you don't want the Crayola marker to dry too much before you try to move it around because then it's just really hard to move around. So just do a little bit at a time and then get it wet. It's going to probably bleed through the back side of the paper into your leaf, but we're okay with that. This is a little fun practice journal, so it's all good. So that's a, a good look. I like the way that looks. Then we're going to take, um, I think, a green crayon, and we're going to color the parts that are land. Hopefully that's not getting too shaky for you all. My table's on wheels. Wow, that is really squeaky. Hopefully you can't hear that. All right, and that's Earth. Look at that. I like the way that turned out. So that was quick and easy. It didn't bleed too much through the backside. Okay, so we're gonna move our little piece of cardboard. Again, as we've said in other videos, this is to give us a harder surface to draw on. So now we're gonna do box. Now, box is, you could just draw a square and then you could color it. Because that's a basic box, right? If you wanna do a three-dimensional box, draw a slanted line towards the right up here, do another one that's the same length and the same angle over here, then connect those two, then draw another one here, same kind of line, connect this, and then take right here, connect this, draw it down. And then just do some lines for shading. And that makes it look like a box with an open top. Now we can add, let's see, let's add some purple. I like to use purple as a shadow color. Purple is a good shadow color. There you go, look at that box. That's a good one. So box is easy, so give that a try because that's a really easy one. You know, you could put little plants or flowers or draw little toys sticking out the top. You could take some of your um, little embellishments that we made and you could cut them so they look like they're sticking out of the box and you could glue them down. That would be fun. All right, next, cupcake. Who doesn't love a good cupcake? <laughs> All right, so cupcake. So we're gonna draw a curved line and then a slanted line, a little bit slanted in towards the middle. Do the same kind of line over here and another curved line down here. That's the bottom of your cup cupcake. You know, the cupcake paper, the part where the paper is and it has lines on it, right? So draw some lines like that, right? Then we're gonna draw the frosting and cake part, right? So bring a curved line out towards the left, bring it in towards the right, don't connect it to anything, just like that. Do the same thing over here, only bring it up a little higher, maybe don't curve it down as much, and don't, don't have it touch the other side, just like that. And we're gonna do that again. And then one more time. This time, we're gonna have it go to a point. Put some shading down here, some shading right here, sketchy, messy pencil lines. right here at all these points where the different shapes meet. OK, 
okay? Then we're gonna go in, once you get the shape that you like, again, we're gonna go in, we're gonna make our lines darker. Not all the lines, just enough lines to suggest a shape and give you a good shape. I'm gonna take a brown crayon and I'm gonna color the bottom part, uh, not a crayon, what is this, a pencil, colored pencil. I'm laying it on its side again so I can get a smooth, even coverage. Now, cause you can see on here, if you do this, you did get a different kind of look than if you do this. So I'm going to lay it on its side first. It's a little bit lighter. Then I'm going to go in with a tip. The parts that would be darker, the edges where it would be farther away from me. And in between each one of these other black pen lines where it would be the folds of the paper. If you've seen a cup cupcake wrapper, you know, the cupcake wrapper kind of goes like this, right? So these in between parts are what we're making darker right here. Then for the frosting, frosting, let's do, what color do we want our frosting? Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. How dark is this red crayon? Mm, I think I want to do pink. You could do whatever color you want. Again, I'm going to lay the pencil on its side and color my shapes in. I know you're probably thinking, a cupcake, that's too hard. I can't draw that. I want you to try it. The first time you draw it, it might not come out good, but you know, just keep practicing. Art is about practice. Creating good art for most people is a learned behavior. It's not something you just automatically know how to do. It's something that just takes a lot of practice and doing it over and over and over again. So now I'm gonna take the tip of the pink pencil and make some parts where the shading is a little bit darker around the edges and look at that cupcake all right the last one for today smile this is going to be a really easy one you could do this really hard you could do it really easy for smile i'm going to keep it easy i'm going to just do a smiley face right now i'm not always feeling like i'm smiling or like I want to smile, but you know what? Making art makes me happy. So we're gonna draw a smiley face. And let's make him bright and sunny and very yellow. So there you go, smile. So I want you guys to get out your little sketchbook and your tools and supplies, and I want you to create some drawings this week. And I would love to um, have you share with me what you're doing, if you're allowed to and you have mom and dad's permission on social media. I'm not sure on these videos on YouTube if you can comment or anything, I don't think you can. Um, but even if you can't, I want you to go out and I want you to have fun with it. I want you to make some art. I want you to mind mom and dad. Make sure you do your homework and make sure you do your chores. And, um, you know, do what you're allowed to do. You're allowed to go out in the backyard and have some fresh air. And do that. Take some pictures. Maybe take your sketchbook with you and do some drawing. Um, that's it for today. Don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. And to like, share, and subscribe, and go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself and maybe mom and dad because you deserve it and so do they. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.